Hey, good evening, friends. How are you? I'm Vishwesh. Tuesday, ten minutes talk. So you guys must be wondering, what is this Tuesday, ten minute talk? Okay, most of the people who come to me know me as an option trader, derivative analyst, or probably somebody who comes on a Z business or something like that. If I have to tell you something about myself, I think I have read a dozens of books uh, over a period of last uh, 10, 12 years, and you could not even imagine my every year I used to read like 12 to 15 books, you know, and it was like a monthly one book average. And what I have learned over the period of years that has shaped me as a better uh, person, as a trader. And what I have realized that when people try to become a good trader, they forget that unless you are a good person, you are a good individual, unless you have control over your mind, how are you going to become a good trader? So in today's uh, 10 minute, I'm going to discuss about how to overcome over trading. So in my opinion, there are four strategies which can help you become a better disciplined trader and help you overcoming that uh, you know over trading issue first trading plan importance of trading plan is i think everybody has seen most of the big trader if you see globally has a very very distinct trading plan so actually what is a trading plan trading plan has a four things very clearly laid out your entry conditions your exit condition when you enter how much you're going to enter in terms of the quantity when you exit well, how are you going to exit your profit booking rules and all of this is written in ironclad and you're going to follow that so there are entry conditions which can probably uh, you know simplify let's say i'm going to buy nifty call option whenever nifty will break a three bar high with mscd in buy and with open interest addition on the put side right this is my buy condition how much am I going to buy? That is again a big topic of a position sizing. So in a thumb rule, you can say that I am not going to risk a 2% of my capital on a single trade. Okay, so my capital is a 10 lakh rupees. 2% of that is 20,000 rupees. Now 20,000 is my risk. If my stop loss is, let's say, uh, like 15 points, lot size is 75. So 15 multiplied by 75 is a one lot risk. And that you divide by... 20,000 20, divided by that would give you a number of lot you should buy. So that will tell you that what sort of a quantity you should buy. So in my opinion, trading plan is the most important thing which you know make you which can make you a better trader and at least make you avoid those pitfalls which you have been doing. So trading plan includes entry, exit, position sizing. Okay. There are a few more things which it includes and if I would tell you a very small story from my MBA days, uh, my professor, I think everybody knows him by now because <laughs> I have quoted him dozen of time in all my interviews and all my uh, TV shows. His name was Avijan Dutta and during my MBA he used to say that whenever you trade you should have not only entry criteria, exit criteria, but you should have a, some sort of a limit. plan. This is how much I want to make or this is how much I want to lose. And he used to tell that before coming to a class, he used to make a trade and his target was something. And whenever he used to achieve that, he used to just follow the test. More than often, I have seen people achieving more than they want to achieve or achieving more than their weekly, monthly target, but still they don't stop trading. And what happens is that they end up giving their profit. So guys, having a clear daily profit target if you're a trade trader if you're a you know positional trader having a monthly target or if you are an investment driven guy then probably having a holding period is something what you should need and for a day trader or short term swing trader you should also have a loss target that this is my loss limit for the day and that is a part of your trading plan okay so first point to overcome over trading is trading plan second point second point in my opinion that is a most bizarre thing i have seen i am in a market since 2006 and i am telling you that this point has ruined so many times my trading capital i cannot even tell you second point is trying to recover the losses on the same day i was bullish market went down and now market is going down okay i'm gonna buy a put and i'm gonna make money whatever market has taken wrong answer I was bullish on Reliance, 
Reliance didn't took uh, the kind of move which I was expecting. I am gonna buy something else and recover that. What happens as a trader? You would understand that whatever you had calculated or whatever you had thought it didn't play out. Now your job is to accept. Recovering the losses on the same day has a lot of lot of issues because you are still in the state of a previous trade that has gone wrong. And when that has gone wrong, you are not able to come out of that thing. And that is making you more mistakes. That is helping you to commit those same mistakes which you should have not done. So how to overcome that? If you are thinking to overcome the losses on the same day, you should give yourself a pause. If it happens in the last hour, just stop the trading. If it happens in the first hour, stop trading. Go out, watch a movie, watch a Netflix, play a video game. You know, do something else other than a market. Give your mind a break. Move away from that place. Move away from that state of the trade. Whatever chart you are looking, don't look at that chart because whatever you are trying to look at that chart has gone horribly wrong. And now, what you need is a fresh thought to accept. So accepting your mistakes, that is what the first or second thing is. So try, if you're trying to recover the losses on the same day, you should have a pause. Ideally, you should technically avoid, but you should have a pause. So take a pause when the trade goes wrong. If it hits your daily stop loss, stop. Third point, take responsibility of your losses. Take responsibility of your failures. In my opinion, this is very, very important. I have seen more than often people blaming me or people blaming some other analyst. Usne TV mein bhai diya tha, usko kuch nahi aata hai, stop loss ho gaya. Why? It was a simple trade. You should have followed your stop loss. You should have had a trading plan. That guy has gone wrong, and but losses has happened of yours. So what you have to understand is that you have to start taking responsibility of your losses. The moment you take up a trade, it's your trade, and the moment you take up a trade, you should have a full accountability of that thing. Your job is to understand that was it according to my criteria. This is the quantity should I take up. Stop loss is forty rupees. If the stop loss triggers multiply by the loss size, how much loss would it occur? Am I prepared to that kind of a losses? And always account for the worst. So unless and until you start taking responsibility of your failure, your loss making trade, in my opinion, you are gonna make the same mistakes of over trading every day. And my last and very very important, have a winning mindset. What is a winning mindset? You are better. You are improving. You can do it. And if previous losses are haunting you, you will never be able to come out. Winning mindset is about preparing yourself for the worst, but at the same time expecting the positive outcome. Not just by you know praying to a god, but by way of a preparation in terms of the analysis, position sizing, trading plan. Winning mindset is about hanging out with the people who are like-minded trader who are prepared who are disciplined that is a very most important thing and i'm not even mentioning a discipline here discipline is a part of a trading plan if you're following your trading plan you're automatically disciplined but winning mindset is something which you require in order to become a very very good trader you should have a good memories whatever trade you have taken in the past has done good or bad but irrespective of that, you should have a positive mindset about you can do it, you can overcome this kind of a problem. And whenever you are trading, you should always remember that. Never ever allow previous trade to hamper your next trade. So guys, these are the four things in my opinion can make you a better trader and can help you overcoming that over trading issue, especially a day trader. So this was my Tuesday standard talk. I hope you like it. If you haven't so far subscribed to our channel, please subscribe, press the bell icon and let me know in the comment section what you would like to hear next Tuesday. I will try to come up with a Monday. And one more thing, this Tuesday 10 minute can be Tuesday 20 minute depending on the talk and depending on the criteria. This was my first talk and I have decided to my best. I hope you like it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.